Huh. It seems that you have met a, a horrible demise, my friend. But, uh, you know, these things happen and, and life, life goes on. Not for you, obviously, uh, you're dead, but, uh, it reminds me of a time I was, I was having a conversation with my friend Orville. We were, uh, where were we? We were by the, the, the river, we were sitting by the river and watching the fish leap over the falls, and, uh, I, I said to Orville, you know, sometimes I feel like a fish leaping over and over again, always trying to get somewhere. Oh, I don't know where only to find myself in the jaws of a beast. He, of course, looked at me surprised, you know. Have you been in the jaws of a beast, friend? To which I said, no, of course not, Orville. I said, no, 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 I, I simply meant that life can seem like a relentless endeavor, overcome meaningless obstacles only to meet an equally meaningless fate, regardless of your efforts, regardless of the obstacles you've passed. And, uh, Orville, he stood and proceeded to drape me with a picnic cloth, to which I, I, I asked him, I said, friend, what, what are you doing? He looked at me, very concerned, really. I feel like you've gotten too much sun. Indeed, huh, indeed I had. He proceeded to pour me a glass of just ice-cold lemonade. Ooh, you ever mix it with iced tea? Do a like little half lemonade, half ooh, it's so you try it some, well you can't, because you're dead, but anyways. So, you may be asking yourself, how did I go from sitting by the falls drinking lemonade to being wedged in the air duct, not only with Orville, but with an entire assortment of fruity colored friends? Well, there's, uh, there's really no good answer to that, but perhaps I met a demise of my own at some point, and this is my afterlife, or my dream, whatever it might mean, I honestly don't know. Or maybe it doesn't mean anything at all. Maybe it doesn't mean anything at all.